मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वी विल सी टूडे द फैमिली ऑफ स्टेट लाइंस हाउ टू फाइंड अ सेट ऑफ स्टेट लाइंस व्हिच आर सेटिस्फाइंग अ सेट ऑफ गिवन कंडीशंस द वेरी कॉमन फार्मूला व्हिच वी यूज फॉर फाइंडिंग द फैमिली ऑफ लाइंस इफ टू लाइंस आर गिवन दैट एनी लाइन व्हिच इज पासिंग थ्रू द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ टू लाइंस इज टेकन एज इक्वेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट लाइन प्लस lambda into equation of second line equal to 0 by putting different values of lambda we can get different set of lines so if we have to find a particular line which is passing through intersections of two line we will get particular value of lambda by means of given conditions and we will get that particular equation see here in this question find the equation of line through the intersection of this and that and parallel to that so the two lines are given we have to find a third line which is passing through the intersection of two lines so here it is going to be x plus 2y plus 3 plus lambda into the equation of second line is going to be 3x plus 4y plus 7 equal to 0 so we will get so many lines with the different values of lambda but we have to find a particular line satisfying that it should be parallel to this firstly we are just making it in a standard form of straight line that is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 so combining we are getting 1 plus 3 lambda x this is 2 Plus four lambda y plus three plus seven lambda equal to zero in standard form. A x plus b y plus c is equal to zero. Now we have to get the value of lambda, and it is given that this required line is parallel to this. That means the slope of this line is going to be equal to the slope of this line. slope of this line will be minus coefficient of x that is 1 plus 3 lambda divided by coefficient of y 2 plus 4 lambda is equal to this is the slope of this line is equal to the slope of this line because parallel to that and what is the slope of this line this is definitely 1 minus coefficient of x by coefficient of y is coming out to be 1 you see so we will get the value of lambda it is coming out to be minus 1 minus 3 lambda is equal to 2 plus 4 lambda so what is that 7 lambda is equal to minus 3 i am taking lambda to that side 7 lambda minus 3 so lambda is coming out to be minus 3 by 7 once we put the value of lambda here we will get the particular line which is perpendicular to both lines and per parallel to a given line so we, we we can easily get a particular line with the value of the lambda put in here now we will see that if we have to find a line which is parallel to a given line suppose a line is here x plus 3y plus 7 equal to 0 so if we have to take any line parallel to this line can be taken as x plus 3y plus k is equal to 0 so what is the technique you just change the constant term don't touch the coefficients of x y and their signs so any line parallel to this line will be taken as this so many lines are possible for particular value of k we will we get the particular value particular line which is parallel to this line and now we will see any line which is perpendicular to given line suppose i have to find a line perpendicular to this line perpendicular what we do we exchange the coefficients of x and y coefficient of x is 1 and that of y is 3 so 3 is with x and 1 is with y okay add in between sign of x and y is changed if it is positive we will write negative plus the constant term is taken as k 
So we can find any line perpendicular to a given line very easily. Exchange the coefficients of x and y and in between the sign of x and y is to be reversed and put the constant term as k. For particular value of k, we will get particular line perpendicular to the given line. This is very simple and very useful technique in finding the parallel and perpendicular lines. Hope you are understanding. Thank you. For useful videos, log on to my channel Santosh Pimbi on YouTube or directly go to my website www.mathsonphone.com. Thank you.